definitely look up your attorney, look at their website, make sure that they are licensed to practice law. So foregone conclusion, get an attorney. Get, get a, a good attorney. Get a good attorney. Yeah. Get my girl Stephanie D'Angelo. <laughs>
and there is no maximum amount of time that you can hold an E2 visa, for example, like the H1B and L1. You can keep renewing the E2 visa as long as your investment remains in the business and the business remains operating. And what is the expiration? Is it every two years? Is it every four years? Or is it as long as the business keeps going? Yeah, it's every five. So every five years you have to go and apply? You would have to extend it, God, right? Extend it. Okay. Yeah, it's every five years, but you can keep renewing it as long as the business exists and is operating. Oh. Now, if we're going to talk about a green card. So for those Brazilians that can't qualify for the E2 visa, they can get a green card through the EB5 investor. Really investor EB5. Yeah. The minimum amount currently, they raised it, used to be half a million. Now it's up to 900,000. If you're investing in a targeted employment area, and then if it's not in a targeted employment area, then it's about 1.2, I believe, maybe 1.3. I recommend that investors invest in an actual project that's already established, that already has like an exemplar approval that's already been recognized by USCIS. And what is an exemplar approval for those that do not know the term? So an exemplar approval is essentially an approval where USCIS already recognizes the EB-5 as a regional investment center. Looking into the validity of the project, for example, has already been done a number of times. So when you invest in a project that already has an exemplar approval, it can substantially decrease your wait time, for example, because USCIS has already done the legwork with that project and now they just have to adjudicate your investment. It's better to invest, like you said, an exemplar approved. A project that USCIS already went and approved that project. Why the government likes this, why USCIS and or the United States likes EB-5 projects because one, you're bringing in foreign investment to stimulate our economy, to stimulate the United States, and to create jobs for U.S. workers, right? Whether it's through construction, whether it's through management of the building, or so on and so forth, you're creating those jobs and you're bringing in money that's stimulating our economy. Yeah. Stephanie, this was great sit down we had for those who watch and for those that just got bits and pieces of it they're going to be much more knowledgeable uh on the immigration topic which is a topic that affects us all right you were great you were fantastic and thanks a lot for coming by thank appreciate you so it. much for having me i really appreciate it